So either way, our guys came out and played today. Uh, we knew it was going to be a heck of a battle. Uh, Columbia is a very good football team, well-coached team. And um, we, were, uh, you know, we knew we were going to have to come out and be ready to play from the very get-go. Our guys did a good job of, of uh, competing on every snap, playing with some energy. Um, we talked about, you know, it's going to be important that we got some, some turnovers. And I felt that was a big part of it. The defense did a heck of a job of creating some turnovers for us, especially early in the game. And we talked about, hey, we got the win up front. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, we knew it was going to be a battle throughout the game. And we just continuously, you know, fought and battled and, and made plays when we needed to. And I thought, uh, you know, us being able to establish the run a little bit there was a big, big, big boost for us. Questions for um, Tyson Grandpa and Andrew? Uh, can Coach talked about establishing the run. I think you y'all were 12 to 10 points a year per carry in the second half. You had 182 yards and almost a career high. What did you kind of see open see open up in the second half, especially? Um, for me, I uh, always want to just shout out and give shout out to my old linemen, uh, my tight ends and, and wide receivers. Um, you know, they continue to block their butts off. And, you know, like I always say, you know, my one job is just to hit the hole. And, you know, fortunately today, you know, in the trenches, they were handling their business and, you know, for me, I was seeing the hole and I was just hitting it. When, when you and DJ are able to kind of pick off those explosive touchdown plays, how much does that kind of just open up everything else for the offense? I know you didn't really dabble in the passing game today, but you've been kind of looking at it when you're able to kind of do that for another thing that too. Uh, I think I think it means a lot. I mean, and you know, in the game of football, you know, the one thing you want to establish is the run, and for you to be able to do that, it just opens up the rest of the offense. You know, it gets a defense on their heels. Um, you have. Uh, you know, 10, 11 guys looking um, in the backfield. And, you know, that's when, you know, big plays, big plays happen, so. Tyson, for you, I know it's your first career pick today. Can you kind of walk me through that play? Uh, we knew we had to get a stop going into halftime because we knew they were getting the ball um, coming out of halftime. So, uh, like Coach said, we know they're a great team. And we just had to make the plays that come to us. And it just came to me and we just made the play. For your defense has kind of maybe struggled to capitalize on turnover opportunities this season. How much of a boon is it to maybe just the confidence of the group as a whole that there's three interceptions today? Yeah, it was great for us. I mean, like Coach said, we've been we've been waiting on these turnovers all season long. Uh, we had a great week of practice harping on the fact that we need the ball, we need to turn over the ball. So finally get it, getting it going today and putting together some turnovers today was great for our defense. Definitely moving forward to knowing, we, knowing that we can do that every game. And Coach Griffin, you talked about winning in the trenches, winning up front today. What did you especially see from just the D-line in place stopping the run? Our D-line, they're just aggressive, relentless, always vertical. Our linebackers, too, always vertical, uh, relentless. They did a great job, and it just makes our job easier in the back end. So just great overall team defensive job today. Yeah, I mean, when you just, you know, obviously playing uh, Columbia and, and, and their coaching staff and their players, you know, every every play was going to be important, you know. You knew that every every yard was going to be big, um, and every point that you got was going to be big. Um, so we just wanted to make sure that uh, we tried to execute um, every time we were out there, offensively, def defensively, special teams. We wanted to execute, and um, and we knew that uh, you know they weren't like I said, weren't always going to be pretty, um, but we couldn't panic. You got to stay the course, and uh, I felt like our offense, defense, and special teams did that going forward. Had you came great, each had two sacks today, mm -hmm. I think seven tackles for a loss. What did you just kind of see from that, the D-line and linebackers today? Yeah, coming off the ball, playing hard, playing fast, being aggressive, um, doing a good job of, you know, you know, it's not even the ones that uh, you get the sacks on. It's just it, it being that, you know, breathing on the neck of that quarterback, mm -hmm. making that quarterback have to make a little bit quicker decisions than he normally would want to, and which I think was a big part of some of those picks. You know, probably just he wasn't able to hang on that ball as long as he wanted to and wait for his read. Um, but those guys just did a phenomenal job of playing fast up front, creating some chaos, and that's what we wanted to do um, in this game. I know you've harped on penalties mm -hmm. throughout the course of the season. I think it was eight in the second half. How do you yeah. kind of refocus the defense in that moment, and then especially just kind of some of those like roughing the passers? Just kind of yeah, I mean, it's just when you play hard, you play fast. Yeah. You know, sometimes you, but you got to be in control. And uh, but our guys were pinning their ears back and and, and putting pressure, and just you know, we got to do a better job. You know, we can't. You know, you got you got to stay on your feet. You know, and just uh, you know, a couple of those. You know, just we'll see it. We'll see it on tape, and we'll see you know you know what it was all about. But uh, yeah, we got to clean that up because obviously you can't you know, have an opportunity to have a lead like that. Those are the things that, that that gives a team a chance to come back. And hats off to Columbia. They battled back, and they put themselves in a situation to potentially tie the game there at the end. And just 
You know, those are the little things that'll, that'll, that matter and that, that'll catch up to you. You gotta do a good job. You can't assume that uh, you know, things are you know, uh, going your way, that it's, just, it's gonna end that way. And it looked like you pulled Josiah at the away a little mm -hmm. bit after a couple of those. Was that kind of what you were telling him? Yeah, just you know, to calm down. Yeah, just the celebration stuff. You know, just you know, we got time for that. And uh, but yeah, you know what? You know, Josiah plays a lot of energy, and that's the one thing that's the advantage he has. He plays with a lot of energy, a lot of intensity, and he's an aggressive football player. And uh, you don't ever want to extinguish that, but you got to be able to control that. And then I, six and zero for the first time I think since 2019. Obviously, sitting at the top. Right now, is how do you kind of carry the momentum from this one? I know the scoreline is another one possession game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you enjoy the victory. It was a, it was a good win for our football team. Our guys played hard and they practiced. I tell you, they prepared well this week, and that was a big thing we talked about all week. Was that winning? You know, work hard that day, win that day, and they did a very good job preparing themselves. And they came ready to play, and they get a, they, we, we beat a good football team. And uh, but the big thing is now we're going to enjoy this on the way home. And then tomorrow we'll watch it, and then you know we got to get ready. We got to you know get ready for uh, Harvard. Start talking about them and and looking at them and, and practicing for them next tomorrow.